Let me get back to the UFO. <laughs> uh, the Luke, uh, yeah, what was it, Luke 17? Let me get back to reading these um, Negro spirits. Yeah, that was a spirit, man. Right. Hey, that guy was kind of, that was a good entertainer. Yeah, we need tonight. human, man. We need a little bit of that. Yeah, yeah okay. I like them hoes right there. Right. Yeah, nice little skinny hoes. Yeah. Right. Here you go. King Jesus, he'll be driver when she comes. Oh, yeah, it's back to that song, yeah. When she comes. She'll be loaded with bright angels when she comes. Yeah, playing that banjo she will that. neither rock nor totter when she comes. She will run so level and steady when she comes. She will take us to the portals when she comes. She will take it. Hold up. She will take us to the portals. She going what the hell is that talking about? It's gonna take us to the portals. That's crazy, ain't it? That is crazy. That's fucked out, man. A portal? A portal. Like a portal. So the chariots are going to take us through a portal. That, that's the door. That's the door to the kingdom. Because you, you man, them chariots are amazing. People talking about how oh, they can travel the speed of light. You don't know what those chariots could do. We, I can't. You can't even. You sound retarded trying to explain. Yeah, they um, they um, they um, they um, they break the laws of your so-called physics. Yeah, they. Oh yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord probably give them control of it. You know what I mean? They can do whatever they want. Yeah, because you see them chairs, they can go in between dimensions. You know what I'm saying? They could just be in here and they just gone right through another dimension. Hey, man. They just bug you out, man. Here you go, another one. This one is on Swing Low, Sweet Chariot, the first, the very first version. Swing Low, Sweet Chariot, coming for to carry me home. Swing Low, Sweet Chariot, coming for to carry me home. So, oh, yeah, but notice, yeah. Coming for to carry me home. And before the other song, it said that they was gonna come and carry us through the portals. Cause a portal, well, we, that's how we going home. Yeah, right. a portal means door, right? That's right. I'll uh, keep going. I looked over Jordan and what did I see? Hey, the Lord is the door. He's the way, the truth, and the life. Yep. Keep going. I, and I and what did I see coming for to carry me home? A band of angels. A band of angels. That's the legions of angels that, that the Bible's talking about. Okay. So this song's in complete agreement with the Bible. That's right. Hey, and and, and who, who came up with this song? Who wrote that song? Israelites. The yeah, Israelites wrote that song. Yeah, right. Keep going. A band of angels coming after me, coming for to carry me home. If you get there before I do, coming for to carry me home. So the white man didn't write that song, right? right. Hey, read that part again. <laughs> um, I looked over Jordan, and what did I see? Because you got a lot of people, they trying to say, uh, they try to say all oh, the black people ain't Israelites. They're Canaan. They're Canaanite. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Canaan. They just say they're Canaanites and they're, and they're black because they're cursed. And all and they're just like they're like what well, Ham? Ham is a black person. Okay, well if Ham is black, his brother is Shem, and that's who the Israelites come from. Right. So if Ham was black, what color is his brother's gonna hey, be? Hey, no one nutted out of the rainbow colors. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nowhere in the Bible did it say they, they look different from each other, okay? If Ham was black, so was his brothers, okay? Right. And the scriptures don't say otherwise. They don't say Noah had a bunch of different wives, okay? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It didn't say one of them came out mixed and right, one came right. out dark black. Lepers, lepers. Like they had just uh, Ham, Shem, and Jephthah was just three different shades, you know what I'm saying? Right. They try to say Jephthah, white people are Jephthah. Where is that in the scriptures? It, no, they don't say none of that shit in the scriptures. Because originally everybody was black anyway. I mean, you just gotta destroy that lie. Because a lot, a lot of, uh, during the slavery times, they try to say that the uh, black people's punishment for slavery was that they was Canaanites. And they still teach that in the church. I, I, heard, I heard Pastor Manning on YouTube say that. He says that shit all the time. He said, y'all Canaanites. Y'all ain't no Israelites. You got no business talking about that. Shoot, we got attacked by a husband and wife and daughter down there when we teach them right there. Come out saying that uh, they, uh, white people are Canaanites. You know? Yeah, that's crazy. You got some people try to say, yeah, white people are Egyptians. You remember that? When they smacked the Bible out your hand? Yeah, I remember that. She called me a Canaanite. Yeah. Crazy ass bitch, man. They came out here. Hey, that bitch, they just came out of nowhere, man. She said I was the devil. I mean, they just flipped. They just flipped. They called them the hand and they like saying they was so. they were saying they were prophets of God. They out here they bitches. Now nah, it was a, a husband, wife, and daughter. I was trying. I was about to holler at the daughter too. The daughter was cute as hell, man. Oh, that's back. When, hey, I was crazy. I was just cursing them out. Right. 
I looked over Jordan, and what did I see coming forth to carry me home? A band of angels it, coming after me. Yeah, Jordan, that's the river the Lord was baptized in. The river of Jordan. Yeah, John the Baptist baptized, baptized the Lord in the river of Jordan. So that's a special river, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's, you know, that's a symbol, the river of Jordan is symbolic of the Lord. Go ahead. A band of angels coming after me, coming forth to carry me home. If you get there before I do, coming forth to carry me home. Tell all my friends I coming to, coming forth to carry me home. I'm sometimes up, I'm sometimes down. Yeah, it said coming to take, hold up. It said coming to carry me home by the River Jordan. Where is the River Jordan located? <laughs> the River Jordan is located right there in Israel, okay? So please explain to me, if black people wrote this back in the 1800s or 1700s, I don't know when they act, it was probably written way before they even said it was. They probably don't even know exactly when it came up with it. You know what I mean? So this the song is old. It's hundreds of years old. And he said, come on and take me home by the River Jordan. Right. That's so that's Israel. That's in the Middle East. That's right. That's it. So that, that's proof right there who, the, who uh, the black people are Israelites. They saying they want to go home to Israel. See what I'm saying? They didn't say, I want to go home to uh, Ghana. I want to go home to Singal or Nigeria. Going to Ethiopia. I, I want to go home to Ethiopia and the Congo in Zimbabwe. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, y'all yeah, black people want to say. I'm going back to Egypt. And you black people want to say you African. I bet I bet you ain't going to hang out with no Somalians. Man, man how can you hang out around people like that with those off spirits, man? Weird, foul spirits, man. That's right. You, you don't see that shit. Right. Uh, they That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Yeah, go ahead and read that scripture. Isaiah. Is this scripture right here is talking about them chariots too? Oh, read that. Isaiah 66 and 15. And we just pray every day that the chariots come out of the sky and just start fucking shit up, just start destroying everything. No, man. That is so beautiful. Go ahead. Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. And with his chariots like a whirlwind. And let's talk about the so-called UFOs. That's the chariots. And they mentioned all through the Bible, okay? But now you got all these, like we said, you got all these faggots on TV. Like, what's that, your boy's name, George Snoopalopagus? What's that dude's name with the crazy hair on Ancient Aliens? Oh, yeah, that you know, of course, the, well, yeah, the spiky, yeah, they're all saying it's the Anunnaki. Yeah, and they're trying to trick you and to make you believe in the ancient Babylonian gods called the Anunnaki. And the Bible condemns the Anunnaki. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's Jack Z Zachariah Sitchin, that Jew motherfucker. You know what I mean? He, we praise the Lord when he dropped dead. Finally. His old ass just dropped dead. Yeah, he massive heart attack. I can't, yeah. He couldn't even reconnect for him no way. He's making shit up, man. As a matter of fact, he had several major heart attacks. That's good That's for him. That's why he made him suffer. That's why you, he deserved to suffer for teaching all them lies. But anyway, y'all want to talk about the ancient Babylonians and the Anunnaki. Well, the Bible said that ancient Babylon is going to be destroyed. You can, that's all through the Bible. Ancient. I, I, I mean, excuse me, yeah, ancient. I meant the Great Babylon, which is America, because America is modern day Babylon. You know what I'm saying? And soon the Lord's going to destroy it. This is part of that destruction right here. This is going to happen to Babylon. Read that. Isaiah 66 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. That's some chariots. They're going to come out of the sky. Keep going. To render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For, for by fire and by a sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. That's gonna be beautiful, man. By fire and by a sword. They're gonna plead with all flesh. They're gonna make you motherfuckers melt. Y'all gonna melt upon your feet. Hey, we gotta get that Zachariah, man. That's what I was just thinking. Oh, go ahead. Zachariah. The first, they brought the first across the yeah. face Yeah, but I got another one right okay. now. Hey, I'll, get, I'll get that one right after I'll this. I'll get one. it, I'll get it. Go ahead. Keep uh, going with that. And the slain of the Lord How you doing? shall be many. This, did you know? Read that again. Little Isaiah 6615. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. You, you ever seen them chariots before? 
know what a chair is? You know what we're talking it's about? It's like a carriage, right? Okay, I'm sorry, I can hear you. A carriage? No. No? No, we're talking about the Bible. Well, it is a carriage. I know, I know you're talking about the a Bible. A chariot. Right. Did you ever hear the story uh, when you're reading the Bible? Hey, get Acts the first chapter. Acts first? Yeah, so, that's a good one. Yeah, so we're going to look. I'm going to explain okay. it. Go ahead. Isaiah 66, 15. For, for behold, the Lord will come with fire and with the chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Yeah, right, right before you came over here, we was talking about uh, the old, there's an old ancient Negro spiritual song called uh, Sweet Chariot. You ever heard that song before? Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. Yeah, now what is that talking about? Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. I've never thought about the meaning of it. Well, it's talking about the chariots of the Lord that the Bible speaks of. And the Lord says that's how he's going to deliver us is through the chariots. And it's all through the Bible. And those chariots are what you call UFOs. And, you know, some people think that's crazy. You know, believe in UFOs? Out. You ever seen one? You just don't believe it. I mean, just because I haven't seen it doesn't mean I don't believe it. Well, I'm asking, that's what I'm asking. I don't know. I've never thought about okay, it. But the Bible, is, they're all through the Bible. Yeah. You know, and the only reason why you don't know is because these people that teach the Bible don't know their damn selves. Well, they just bunch you know? of homosexuals. They don't know themselves. They're teaching falsehood. And those that do know are willingly teaching lies to the people. they just getting paid. All these churches, they're just getting paid. This is a hustle for them. It's a way to make money. So that's why you see on these television shows when they come out with these sci-fi movies, Using those things that come that they call UFOs are using some aliens that got look like an octopus. They're insulting your intelligence by giving you. Uh, here you go. You got this magnificent technology that goes from one, you know, what I mean, at five thousand miles an hour in each direction without slowing down. And they say they go from one planet to the other, but they insult your intelligence by saying that great technology is made by something that looks like an uh, uh, alien fish or, or reptilian with, with with tentacles. They're angels of the Lord, black men that are flying those UFOs. Because the angels, who, you know, the world, who the world ignorantly called Jesus, the man who you call Jesus, he's a black man. Hey, you know, the yeah. Heavenly Father himself, his father is a black man. And that's all scripture. Yep. But that's what we're talking about right now is the UFOs in the Bible. But uh, I got that ax. You, you got more of that. Just like, remember you used to uh, talk. Uh, What's that, that uh, musician that had the spaceships on the, uh, uh, George Clinton? George Clinton, you ever seen the Parliament Funkadelics, old 70s group, the, uh, they called the Mothership. Parliament, he used to come down, and at the beginning of the end, the end of the show, he used to take off, in, but he used to come down in a giant UFO, and he comes out of it. But that's all, that's where he, I mean, all this is scripture. You know, everything that goes on in this world, is everything going on is a spiritual thing. And you gotta learn to see it with a spiritual eye. Not by what this damn world, how they educate you and teach you to look at things, you know. Well, yeah. Hey, go ahead and read that script. Was it Acts the first Okay, chapter? this is Acts. Acts 1 and um, 8. Can you ask the average Christian to explain this script? Just open your mind. Listen. A woman. Huh. Um, but ye shall, this is Acts 1 and 8. But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Spirit is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. And when he has spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud that's, received him out of their sight. That's talking about the Lord. It said after he's done saying what he had to say, he got to take, read that Let part read again. again. Listen to what it says. And when he has spoken these things, referring to the Lord, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. A cloud. So it's not talking about like an actual cloud. I'm gonna go back to that Luke two. Okay. All right. I got proof. I can prove that the cloud is a chariot. Okay. Listen. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, it's going. That's awesome. Man, oh, we should have brought it As he went up, they were watching him go up. As he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. Two angels were right there. You know, they came down out of the ship. Which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus which is taken up from you into heaven. Taken up into heaven. He went up in that. What's up in the sky? Listen. <laughs> so, um, 
that's what heaven means. Heaven, when you read, when you even look it up in the Greek, heavens or reinos in the Greek, which means the actual sky, because you have different heavens in the Bible. You have uh, the spiritual realm heaven, then you have the heaven, the sky, then you right. have like the kingdom of heaven. There you go. You know, but this was talking about the actual sky. Because he said, you guys are looking, he said, you're looking up in the heavens. So, you know, cause some people will take it out of count. They'll be like, well, that means Jesus went to heaven with, you know, the pearly gates. Okay, let me read well, that, He is up in the heavens with the most high. Right. But this is talking about the actual sky. He went up into the heavens, up in the outer space in a chariot. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men in white stood by them in white apparel, which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. Well, he said he's going to return the same way that he left. There's like there's many other scriptures that we've been talking about all night too. It says when the Lord returns, he's coming out of the sky with legions of angels. That's so, his chariots. Right, so meaning one day you're going to wake up and it's gonna be all hell breaking loose, right? And then after that, you're gonna, you're gonna look up and you're gonna see the whole sky is gonna be covered with literally millions of these things. They go, the whole earth is, that's why I said get that the, Revelation 1. The government, the whole earth is gonna be covered. The United States government and the NATO and all the, the military powers of the world, they're gonna try to fight against the Lord's angels too. Because America is the kingdom of Satan. They, they don't believe in the most high in America. In no way, shape, or form. That's why. Did you hear about they's about to erect a, they, they're trying to erect that satanic statue out there in Oklahoma? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the church statue. of Satan is trying to the erect statue. a Baphomet. They want to put up a, a Baphomet statue. It's crazy. That's why your homosexuals can get married. Here you go. go Luke ahead. 17, no, I'm sorry, Luke 21 and, um, and 27. And then, 26, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. Right, so right now everybody's all happy. You know, nobody just walking around just clueless. They have no idea what's going on. Soon they're going to be afraid. Soon there's going to be just complete chaos and death and destruction. There ain't going to be no electricity. There's going to be no food in the stores. Okay, it's going to be terrifying. There's going to be cannibalism out here. Because there's all kind of ways how they, we, we talk about how the, this famine is going to come because there's they're going to declare martial law here in America. They're going to do it, okay? But somehow it's either by the laws these devils going to cut all the electric off, the gas, the water, or this place is going to get hit with an EMP. That's an electromagnetic pulse that these nations, they saying North Korea, Iran already perfected their nukes. They got advanced form of nukes. They're not here, they're, they're going to be shot here not to destroy the land but to knock out the whole electric grid. Once you knock out the whole electric grid, this place is back in the 1600s again. You know what I'm saying? And they saying they're not gonna recover from that EMP attack. It's gonna take years. And you have, si yeah, you got scientists warning the government, telling them they need to uh, back up the grid. They're, they're, they're right, they've been, for like the last three, four years, they've been trying to pass, get funding to uh, to build a uh, 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 defense for the, for, the, for the electric grid. But Congress and the Senate has blown it away. Even right now, they, they, can't, can't, get, they can't get no funding for it. They want to spend no money. Because they, the, the, the international banking families, and they, done, they done gave up on this country. This country was nothing but a great experiment. So they gave, they already, that's why you see all these, uh, the, uh, all the businesses and left the nation that, you know, that build things. Yeah, nothing's you know, built in America anymore. Everything's built in they, China. They liquidated this country. Yeah, there's no it's more, been liquidated. No more factories, no more machine shops, no more, uh, they don't make nothing here. So all it is is just the Lord's anger. Cause he's, this, hey, you gotta look. America was built on bloodshed. On, it's on slavery. It's getting this judgment now. Yep. Cause never in history since the slaves fall here until now, this place was never judged for what it's done. Now it's being judged according to the Bible. Now, if you believe in the Bible or not, it don't matter because if the Bible says, you know, this place is going to be destroyed by nukes. That's why you. That's why you see all these, uh, all these so-called community. It's beautiful, ain't it? All these community organizers and leaders out here. Uh, they're all, none of them have any truth. They're all a bunch of devils because there's no deceivers. There's no saving the community. You can't. They're you you, you and Israelite. Oh yeah. What's your nationality? 
white. She said I'm white. But what's your nationality? Uh, Irish, Scottish, German. I'm Scottish. You a nigger. I mean, <laughs> you are. You. It's more likely you look more because that's where the Irish come from. Remember, he oh, told yeah. you King James. Oh, yeah. We ruled that land. The black man ruled that land at one time, and we left our seed there. Yeah, you heard of King James, ain't you? Who authorized this version of the Bible? He had his. Uh, he had his uh, so-called scholars. And they translated the Bible from uh, Hebrew to uh, uh, to Greek, English, yeah. Latin. Well, yeah, because they, they had the best scholars in the world working on the it. The best. You know what I mean? The best. But the King James Version is the best. That's the closest you can get. Unless you go into the Hebrew, the Old Testament, the Hebrew, and the Old... Well, I ain't gonna go on there, Yeah, because you can't be reading out no new... What's some new living translations new and the new international and the, yeah, all that BS. Okay, you, if you're Scottish or Irish, this is where you are. One of these. One of these, because we left our seed there. You read the Bible, right? You believe in the Bible. You believe in the, who we call Jesus Christ, the man who they call Jesus Christ. You probably more likely you, you believe he was raised from the dead, he was murdered and, and risen from the dead. So more than likely you an Israelite. Just cause you look, look. You, the, the, he's white. Cause you got a lot of, not all white people are the same people. Right. Just like all black people ain't, are not the same. Like Af Africans, Africans, the, the Jews over there living in Africa, up in the Congo, they're not the same people as black people they, in America. We're not the same people. Totally different people. Like we always try, the way we explain it is, you never seen nobody like Tupac come out of out at the Congo or Africa rapping, got skills, and no Michael Jackson. You know what? No, ain't no ain't no Ray Charles coming out of Africa. You know what? Any African? Any um great men coming out of Africa that's doing some magnificent, a that's Mike, showing off a, a nice talent. LeBron athletic, James, Michael musical. Jordan. That's you all know? over here. That's all the so-called black men in America yeah. doing that. Okay, check this out. I hate to go there though, but the filthy corn world. <laughs> <laughs> you see any Africans in porn? I don't just that's just a silly joke. That'd be the worst. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, man, that would be... <laughs> nah, but even the movies, Hollywood, there ain't no famous act, no African actors. Because they're too stupid. They can't. I can't my phone because it's written now. Yeah. I got an old Bible, man. Just, my just go with the spirit, you know what I mean? Um, I was wondering. Yeah, well, I'm gonna um, go. Uh, Thanks for talking. Okay, all right. All right. Yeah. Get that number, man. You were afraid of a little cute little mom. You scared her with the porn of. <laughs> <laughs> Man, where's the snow from? Yeah, this is awesome, man. Yeah, it's bad. It's yeah, this camera is going to get fucked up. Five or six. Wow. Yeah, it's going to mess that camera up, too, man. The snow. That moisture, man, it's not nice. It's That's not why it's probably been fucking up. It's not kind to electronics at all, man. Shit, man. We can go up in a booth or something. No, we can't. No, I don't want to deal with them motherfucking coder guys coming because they're constantly riding the street, man. I, you I've know America's about to be destroyed? I've noticed they got like 20 of them riding the street, man. Yeah, I didn't even see those. They like everywhere. There are three right here, back to back. Yeah. Right here, one behind me. And they, want, they want to see if we're going there. Yeah, that little girl, oh, she's she some faggots up. Yeah. Oh, cool, man. And she kind of, yeah, I wasn't ready for that. She come up out of nowhere, like, hi. Yeah, she did, man. Yeah. Look, you know, we ain't trying to teach them with these bitches, man. I, I mean, it's, man, I gotta put this camera away. Remember these scriptures? Well, yeah, just turn it off for a minute. Because a lot of times these scriptures we don't, we ain't brought out in a while, man. And it's good to bring them out. Oh, fresh we ain't nothing to put over, dude. Yeah. It's been hold a while since we brought these UFOs. Hey, we, we, talked about, man. Man. we talked about UFOs, but we ain't brought those scriptures out on it. Right. You know? I just do it out of out of practice, man, to remember where some of these scriptures were. Mm -hmm. Fuck, man. I forgot the umbrella. You got one? Fuck no. It's, it's in the freaking deep, man. Damn. It's snowing, it's gonna fuck up the camera. Yeah, it fucks my Bible too. It fucks my Bible up. It rips my pages. Makes it makes my makes my pages too soft like, on rips. Like, yeah. This ain't even like snow, it's more like a rain oh, snow yeah, mix. Well, well, yeah, well, 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 yeah. That's cool though. You can, hey, you wait, you can put, you put my garment over it. You wanna do that? No. I don't give I don't need a garment. Here. Just wrap right. it up in my garment. You need a garment? Yeah. Sorry about that. That's more important. I could use my own garment. Oh, go ahead. Use your own garment. That ain't even going to work anyway. It'll block the lens. That's all right. Hey, this moisture funny though. It'll be right. Both sides. Now let's get some scriptures out. Where was we at? Where was we at? Girl came 
came up and threw us off. What was we was talking about them cherries. Oh yeah, cause yeah, let's bring a couple more for them cherries. Cause yeah, cause you would think we was crazy. We come out here talking about the stuff we're talking about, and really we are kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, if people look at us like you're nuts. Damn, I should go for other time, man. That's why it's surprising. That girl, she she didn't think we was crazy, did she? No, not at all. She was actually not listening. Not yeah, she was she, she was like laid back. Yeah, yeah she's alright. You know, surprised me. That's why it shocked me. The times are changing, man. People are uh, she, these people are having dreams and visions and shit, you know. And we get closer anyway, so a lot of these women gonna be start feeling it. You know, they ain't gonna learn it, but they gonna feel it. I got this scripture. Let me get this real quick. Matthew 25 and 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, Ooh, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. <laughs> that's that's talking about what we've been talking about, those chariots. When the Lord returns, he's coming out of the sky with the chariots with all the angels with him. Let me read that again. When the Son of Man come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as the shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. Oh, you told me about the goats earlier, right before we came out. Oh yeah, we be taking <laughs> we be clowning sometimes, man. Yeah, cause, <laughs> so the Lord only came, came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay, and so when the Lord comes back, he's going to separate Israel from all the nations because everybody's been mixed together. You know what I mean? Man, people were going to text me. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah, you want to see some crazy as you read that shit we post on the internet. That is so. But what, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, when the Lord come back, you know, Israel been scattered among all nations. So when the Lord come back, he got to separate Israel from all those heathens where they've been scattered. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. Israel is the most numerous nation on the earth. Like it's, like the scripture said, the Most High promised Abraham that his seed would be more numerous than the stars of heaven. Remember that NASA picture we was looking at of the stars the other day? We looked at this picture off of NASA's website of, the, of, of, the, of space, outer space, and it was so many stars. It was just billions of stars. It just looked beautiful. And you can't count all them stars. That's why well, they don't know how many people's on the earth. You know what I'm saying? There's so many damn people on this earth. There's way more people than they even think. Uh, Wait, let me get the rest of this. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a sheep, did, uh, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats, and he shall set, excuse me, and he shall set the sheep on his right hand but the goats on the left. So the right hand, that represents the righteous side, okay? That, that, that means the, the, the good side, you know what I'm saying? So he, so uh, Esau, he ain't a sheep, Esau's a goat, okay? The, these Hamites, they're goats, all right? All these heathens are goats. All these heathens, they, they are likened unto a goat. Uh, what you got? That's the curse. That's the curse. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, that's a beautiful scripture right there. Zechariah 5 and 3. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For every one that stilleth shall be cut off as on this side. Oh, uh, everyone is stilleth. Yes, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, America was, uh, was, was built on robbery. This whole land was robbed. Oh, uh, go ahead. Um, for everyone, it, on my fault, you ain't gonna be successful in America unless you're a dirty businessman that likes to rip people off. Wall Street ain't nothing but a big yeah, Ponzi scheme. Right yeah, Wall Street ain't nothing but a big giant Ponzi scheme. The whole thing's illegal, the whole thing's crooked. <laughs> Everything in America is crooked, right, man. Right. All the politicians are crooked. Hell, you, you see that? All these motherfuckers going to jail for all them banking scams and shit. You seen that fat piece of shit, Chris Christie? Is that his name? Uh, Chris Crispy? Crispy. <laughs> that fat glazed donut eating motherfucker. But he, he getting caught up in all kind of scandals. All the politicians are crooked. The people look crooked. You know what I'm saying? Ain't none of you people right, man. Uh, what you got? I got to finish reading. I got to throw my notes. Oh, it's all good. Uh, and we read. Why you getting down? I'm going to read the rest of this. And before him shall be gathered all nations, 
He shall separate them one from another as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them, excuse me, then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, come ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. So that the kingdom of heaven was prepared for us before the foundation of, of the world, which this right here proves there ain't no such thing as a, a there, there's no such, uh, there's no such thing as free will, okay? Because the Lord said that we was already chosen before the earth was even formed. He already selected his chosen, the elect. The Lord already chose who the prophets were before he even created oh, us. Before he even created the earth, the, the, everything was already set up. You know what I mean? The, the Lord, everything is predestined. That's like it said in Ephesians. You can read it. Ephesians tell you that we was chosen from the foundation of the earth. It said the same thing as this. What is this, Matthew 25, what I just read? So, let me read that again one more time. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom, prepare for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungered, and you gave me meat. I was thirsty, ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, ye took me in. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison and you came unto me. What else is there to that? My Bible getting wet. That's, that's the point on that scripture, actually. I done ruined my Matthew 25. It's some crazy weather, right? This is solar vortex. It ain't, it's obviously not finished yet. Polar vortex? Polar vortex. Yeah. I said solar vortex. <laughs> What's the difference? There be all kind of vortexes. When them chariots come back, you're going to see a vortex. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much what those tornadoes are. That's the angel of angel wars, too. So there's going to be, there's gonna be mm -hmm. tidal waves, too. There's going to be all kind of shit, man. Because mm -hmm. you know they say when uh, if Russia's going to launch nukes, they're going to launch, launch nukes in the, uh, in the rivers, too, man. It cause tidal waves. <laughs> It's gonna be all kind of destruction, man. All kind of missiles dropping. You're gonna be you're gonna see mushroom clouds from miles away. Then you're gonna see one hit your ass and destroy you. If you ain't right, you're gonna be destroyed by the missiles, man. You yeah. uh, You got something to bring it out. I'm gonna put my gloves on. This is uh, John 6 and 65. And he said, therefore, Said out, say, say I unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. And these motherfuckers think, cause they, you know, especially these bitches, man, go all their lives being a goddamn nasty bitch, a nasty ass hoe, and they think about they turn 40s in their 50s, they think they can turn to Jesus then and appoint themselves prophets and shit, women of the Lord, and you listen to their very talk, it's some foul shit. It's a, you know, it's a profane shit. It's profane. It's anus. You know? Totally outside of the church, man. Totally outside of the church. Appointing themselves women of the Lord. And he's got them no good homosexual or the down low pastors appoint themselves men of the Lord. That's all good because these, these women, they gonna get in order when we get in our power. So. And right, instantly. So you can't really worry about a woman. Uh-huh, you are gonna have some of them like Queen Latifah. Oh That's yeah, I know, yeah. Queen Latifah uh -huh. gonna be ready to go down for it. You know, uh -huh. she ready to go represent. Oh, uh -huh. big yeah. dyke bitch. She ain't gonna do shit. You know, what happened to ladies first? Now that bitch is a, a white woman first. Yeah. <laughs> Queen Latifah. Ladies first. You used to wear the kufi, you used to wear the oh, colors. Yeah, they're looking ladies retarded first, as hell. Ladies first, ladies first. Ghetto Boys did a, a cut on that. They, they said, ladies first, and the, and the record scratched. Uh -huh. Ladies was, first. Even Scarface don't know what the hell he talking about. <laughs> they cut the shit. He, right. They cut though, the shit out of that I've been though. watching some interviews of Scarface. Man, this dude's oh, kind he's of, gone now. He's gone, man. He's gone he, he on some old kind of bugged out philosophy. Yeah, they think you can be a drug dealer and it's cool and shit. And they think you a drug dealer, and they and they rap talking about Jesus. And they complain about how the man come down on them. And, you but know, he, for being drug dealers. But he have a song rap about Jesus and selling rocks in the same damn song. 
got several of them right there. And he always talking about church. I yeah. tell you them churches ain't right, man. Talking about uh, his money. He was talking yeah. about his money one time. The one song called, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, I always talking about Damn, shooting people. So long, That's man. all I talk too. about. I do your ass just Dang, like baby. Jesse James. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he, he a gangster. Yeah, he would stay in that spirit of uh, Black Panther, more of a Black Panther. Oh yeah, the Black Power. You know, all they care about is Black Power. That bullshit. Black Power, but you're pushing Black drugs. Because <laughs> yeah, right. Black true. means death. Oh yeah, you yeah, know, no, it means pushing death. Black drugs. Even the word Negro it is the same as the word Necro, which is death. Death. You know what I'm saying? Dead. That, you know? That's why, yeah, that's why the scriptures say the riches aren't commonly for a nigger. Right. That's right there in the scriptures. This shit coming down, ain't it? Yeah, this is nice weather right here, man. Right. This is beautiful weather. I love it's it. a good day for destruction. It's a yeah. good time for they knock this electric grid off now. But I don't know how Because none of these bitches, they're going to be looking for me then to get warm. And mean, we seen some bad bitches today. They call me on guard today. I didn't expect to see all this today. Yeah, see a lot of there's a lot of fine women out here for the pickings, man. And damn, not one black one. <laughs> oh, this shit is so. Oh, uh, go ahead. We, we might as well just turn that off, man. Okay.